Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from Automation.com and welcome to part 10 of our Cucumber with Selenium course. And in this video, I'll be talking about latest extended reporting version 4.x support with our course. And once again, before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 8 and 9 because this video is going to be a complete continuation of those videos. Alright, so let's get started. Let's all help to save tree, water and energy to save our mother planet Earth. Extend Reporting Extend Report is a logger-style API written for Java and .NET environment which allows creating HTML reports from test. And once again, the Extend Report has a lot of features as you can see in the screenshot. It supports multiple type, it supports commonly used test frameworks, and it manages multiple projects, historical reports, trends, interactivity, and the report is really really beautiful and it's highly configurable if you buy a professional version by the way so there are like two different versions available one is the pro and one is the community so if you buy the community version probably you end up having just few features but for the pro version you see there are different features available so i would not really recommend you to buy a pro version initially because if you're very familiar with community you probably try to customize that but if you still really need the bleeding edge feature which is available with the professional version i would strongly recommend to go with pro which really helps the author who has developed this plugin and given as the community edition for free so it really supports the developer by the way so as that said the extend report can log data in both classical logging style or the bdd style but we are going to be only discussing about the bdd styled version of it so the extent pseudocode of the BDD style is going to be looking something like this. We are going to be creating an extent report class and then within this extent report we are going to be creating a test and then it is going to return as an extent test variable out from it. And followed by that we are going to be calling a create feature class because as you know all the feature are going to be holding the scenarios. We are going to be including the scenario within the feature and since a scenario holds all the steps we are going to be adding the steps within the scenario so as you can see it's like a sequence of chains of operation that we need to be performing so first we need to create an object for extend report and this extend report object is going to return as the extend test and this extend test is going to be returning as create feature object and this create feature is going to return a scenario followed by steps so this is how things are going to be working and that's how the pseudocode of extend report is going to be looking like so finally, the report that we'll be creating is going to look something like this. And you can see it's really a nice report. It also has something very interesting in here. You can see it has the very cool dashboard on the down and it has some steps meaning mentioned like what's really happening. So we are going to be discussing about this completely. So note, this is a basic course and we won't be covering following topics along the way. Something like parallel execution support, getting dynamic feature names, getting dynamic step failures, and running particular features via listeners. So those stuffs really requires a lot of effort. And again, I have not put a lot of effort for the basic course because for the basic, I really feel that these informations are more than enough to get started. And if you really feel like you still have to go a level more, you can probably look at my advanced course which is kind of very very interesting to learn some of these advanced topics but if you're just going to be getting started i would really recommend you to stick with this video so let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work so for that i'm going to flip to my intellij ide all right so this is the same video that we were discussing in our previous video and here in our last video we discussed what is the what is this test engine listener and how we can call that in the engine xml file and today we are going to be working with what is called as an extent report. And as that said, the extent report is once again going to be a Pomber XML file that we need to add a dependency because that's going to be something coming from what is called as Maven. And as I said in the introduction video of this upgrade, we are going to be using the latest and the greatest version of extent reporting. So I'll be just looking for extent uh, report. For Maven and if you hit that you can see you'll end up with the Maven repository here it still shows three but if you can just go to the extent reports here there is 4.0.9 just released on Jan the latest bleeding edge feature so I'm just gonna copy this here 
and then I'll be closing this completely and I'm just going to be adding the extent report so once I add this you can see that it is going to be adding the extent report for me over here there is also something called as the extent reporter uh, cucumber for adapter so I will probably be discussing that if I could able to make that thing work I have not tried that yet so I probably will try it myself and I can add that video as well so as of now the work is progress in my side so I'll be adding that video as well so as that said this is the only reference I need to add for the extent report and it seems to be like adding some other dependency here so you can see that we have so many libraries this time which is really cool and as that said we are going to be creating a new class file here this time and again this class file is something which is very very important for the extent report itself so i'll just call this as extent report util dot class file so i'm just going to be hitting ok and this class file is going to be extending our base util so you can now see that our base util by itself has something called as web driver but now this time we are going to be extending this particular base which will even further to have some other features so as i said we are discussing all these things on 2019 on 30th of jan so i'll just add that right so we are pretty new now and we are going to be adding some new variables here so this time we are going to be adding the public of extent reports you can see there is something called as extent report class and this is the extent report that i'll be working with so i'm just adding that and you can see if i go to this extent reports class i can go to the reference and i can see that this particular extent report class basically has a lot of different options something like attach reporter get started with reporter and it has something called as create test create test create test and you can see this create test are like variations it has a gherkin formatter model and you can see it has a gherkin keyword class in turn and similarly there are some create test with just test name uh, you know what is the difference basically you can see all these methods by itself are synchronized which means they are designed to support parallel threading which is really really cool and that's why these are synchronized and the difference of these methods being overloaded is because these are for the bdd style and as i said in the slide it supports both bdd and non-bdd format so this create test method is for the non-bdd format whereas this bdd is for the bdd format that's why it's a gherkin keyword right so you can see there are so many different methods available just go around and play around with this class file and you will eventually get to know a lot of details about it and then we are going to be adding a public static extent test variable and you will understand why i'm actually been doing it so as i said in the pseudo code we are basically going to be adding this extent test especially to have what is called as a scenario definition so i'm going to be adding a scenario def which is going to be for my scenario definition and then i'll be just copy that and i'll be pasting it here and i'll be calling this guy as what is called as feature and as you can see the features as well as scenario are both extent test so basically a feature actually holds scenario and this scenario holds the steps but there is nothing called a step or extent step or something like that we have to incorporate that within this particular scenario definition and once again it seems to be a little confusing at this point of time that why i'm really creating all these stuffs i'm just trying to make sure that it really imitates exactly like how it we discussed in our slide and finally i'm also going to be storing the files in one of the location within my local machine so I'm just going to be calling this uh, the report location and then I will just store that in my users report folder right so these are the different kinds of variables that I really require to be used within my extent report util so now I'm going to start creating or maybe I'm going to start working with this particular extent report util so the first thing which I'm going to do is to create a file name. So basically 
I'm gonna store the file within this particular location which is nothing but the report location and once again the report location is coming because I have extended the base util class here and then I'm just gonna call this as extend uh, report dot HTML right and then I'll be start working from there so as you know the first thing we need to do is to create an extent reports object so for that I'm just going to be calling the uh, extent report object and once again for doing that I'm just going to create a very very super simple method here so let me call this as public void extent report method and within this report I'm just gonna call the extent method itself extent variable itself so I'm just gonna call this as extent is equal to new of extent reports right so once I add that it eventually adds the reference for me and once this extent reports is being added and then I'm gonna be calling what is called as an extent HTML reporter and since there are different kinds of reporter available within extent so you can see if I put like extent you can see there is something called as extent BDD reporter and there is something called as extent HTML reporter event reporter uh, extent card reporter extent email reporter extent claw reporter extent logger reporter so these are the different new reporters which was introduced by the author who has developed this extent so if I just go to the extentreports.com website and you can see this is the new website he has created the author which is really really cool and if you could see here these are different kinds of reporter as I said extent HTML reporter which is available in professional there is a logger reporter which is available in community as well but you can see that the event reporter is sadly not available in community version. Similarly, the tabular reporter is sadly not available in community and neither the HTML report, card report or BDD report. But you can see the CLOW report or something which is used for the historical reporting purpose which we have already discussed in our advanced video series is somehow supported in the community version as well. So these are the different reporters available within extent and the one which we are going to be working today is going to be the extent html reporter so the html reporter is something very very cool because it actually has an option to save our report into an html format so i'm just using the extent html reporter and then i'm just passing the file name here so this is going to be the file name which is going to be saved within this particular html report and then we're going to be just calling this extent HTML reporter and then there is something called as config method and then with this I'm just going to set some theme so there is different kinds of themes available like theme dot standard theme dark and there is something like value of I don't know what does that mean for sure there is something else but I'm going to be using the dark theme which I mostly like and I'm just using that and then HTML reporter dot config dot there is something called a set document title so you can see I can set different kinds of stuff here like correct relative auto create relative path media and then set CSS set document title set encoding set JS set level set protocol so you can see there are different kinds of stuff available the one which we are going to be using is the document title so here I'm just going to be mentioning that as a test report for selenium basic all right and then html reporter dot config dot set encoding so you can keep on setting uh, a lot of different stuff here not just the one that you can see here so i'm going to be setting all these things over here right so once everything is done I'm then finally going to attach this reporter which is nothing but the HTML reporter within the extent variable that I just created and as that said this is the extent report method that we have to create for our extent reporting utility 
and then we are going to be adding some screenshot features as well so basically if there is any test fails we are going to be adding a screenshot along with the failure so for that i'm going to be creating one more method and i'm going to call this as extent report screenshot and then i will be adding some of the code here so as you know for taking a screenshot we are basically going to be using the very very simple approach so i'm just going to be using the var keyword here as you can see we can now see the var symbol for some reason it is showing us in red the reason is because if you go to the preferences once again and if we just search for jdk it would have turned into what is called as 1.5 which is not good so i'm just going to be turning it back to 10 so once i turn it to 10 and once i go to the uh, project structure you can see it has again turned into language level of uh, 5 and you can see now the var is being recognized as uh, usual right so uh, this is the uh, screenshot that we're going to be taking in and as i said for the screenshot we have an interface called as take screenshot interface so i'm just going to call that and then i'll be calling our driver object that we have created already in our base util class right so it's added here and then we're going to call this grid screenshot as and then i'm going to output this as file so you can see you can output this to byte or base 64 i'm basically going to be calling uh, as file and then i'm going to do a quick file copy so i'll just show you the other way around as well because there is something called as relative path which is available in the html reporter config but as of now i'm going to be using the classical way of working with it so that it is going to be more uh, meaningful so i'm just going to be calling that so src dot two path which is going to be is going to be converting that to the path and then i'm going to be adding that to my files location so i'm just going to be calling the file which is going to be something available in java.io and i'm going to be calling the report location plus screenshot.png so you can see that we have one file screenshot name so you can see uh, think of a situation where if there are multiple screenshots for sure this is going to be failing but as of now you can see that this is basic course and i don't really want to extend this even further so i have just made it to be very very simple as much as possible right so i'm just going to be adding the two path here as well alt enter and add an exception to the method signature all right and finally we're going to say that there is a failure in the test so i'm just going to be putting a, a scenario definition dot fail so basically this is going to be the one which is going to uh, fail the test for me and again let's not discuss about that yet we'll be discussing about that in our next video but as of now this is the extend report screenshot method and finally i'm going to flush the report so for flushing the report i'm just going to be calling what is called as flush report method and this guy is going to be calling the flush which is available within the extend report so now we have three methods guys the extend report method extend report screenshot method and flush report method for our extend report utility so this is more like a most important features that we really require for extend to be working fine so in our next video we are going to make use of these methods to be called within the listener files and also how we can leverage the power of login steps with all the different kinds of steps to be added so that you can display them in the report so once again thank you very much for watching this video and stay tuned for our next video thank you